We're about to lose one. Get the intruder. Copy. We're almost there. Security breach. Attacking the area. Security breach. Shit, I've got movement everywhere. Everywhere. Contact! Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's uh, good to have you here. It is, of course, Thursday. Well, it's not right now, but it will be when y'all watch this, hopefully. And uh, you, you all know what that means. If it's Thursday, it means a little more Splinter Cell Blacklist. The Spies versus Mercs multiplayer action coming up here on the channel. And, of course, we are, well, we had Classic last week, so I'm trying to, you know, as I said, rotate back and forth. Uh, a terrible start here. A great little banked grenade there by Sirtag catches me just kind of... I don't know, completely, completely bewildered there. Just a, just an oh shit moment as the uh, the grenade banks in, lands right at my foot, and I'm sent back and sent to the next life immediately. So anyway, you can see we're at the uranium mine, and of course, as I said, it is the SVM Blacklist game mode. I did capture this. This was captured alongside the last Blacklist I got up here. So, you know, you may see a few familiar names. Of course, Gunnut, he's always around here. <laughs> you can see he's he's uh, doing a little slicing and dicing up there in the uh, the upper right-hand corner. Um, now, this round in particular, I mean, I don't know. I had some good moments. This wasn't too bad here. Get in I don't know what Invictus. I think maybe Invictus was chasing down the... Uh, you know, the ruckus that Mayuta was making, and it really worked out well for Mayuta here, as he not only lured in Invictus for me to get, but he, he lured in Gunnut there, who, uh, who, of course, pulled out his kamikaze grenade, which I'm now calling the bust a nut Yes, he was trying to bust a nut. I figure he deserves the tactic named after him. He, he uses it often enough. You know, he brings in, like, 48 and 48 rounds. <laughs> you know, 48 deaths. Well, yeah, I don't know how he has that much time. I don't know. It wasn't that much, was it? It was like 27 and 27 or some jazz like that. Just ridiculous, though. Ridiculous. And that's all due to him busting nuts all over the place, yes. Anyway, right here, we you will see Gun Nut come charging in. Yeah, comes in straight in that door. After uh, being stuck in the afterlife for, uh, you know, 10 seconds or whatever the number is, whatever the count is. And I, I, I don't know. I, caught, I crossed over on him there. I don't know what you'd call that exactly, but I went over the edge. And came back around on him, came up the stairs. I did hear, I don't know if you all will have heard it, because I do, you know, I do mix and uh, I do alter the the, the volume levels of, of both the commentary and the gameplay. But I did hear the footsteps kind of charging in behind me, and that's what prompted me to go over the railing in the first place. Try and circle around. So that was kind of, that was my intended move maneuver, you know, and it just happened to pay off well. Fortunately, I ran into a big old, uh, I don't know what it was, I think it was an elbow. Big old elbow to the nose there from Invictus as he sends me, well, cuts the uh, cuts the hack short and sends me back, and I am back here, just hanging around in the C sector. My teammate here, I think it's Mayuta that actually picked up this hack over, way over yonder, in A, like all the way across the map. And of course, my, uh, my, my one target that I was kind of tracking there, he didn't actually take the route I was hoping he would. He took the smart route, yes, unfortunately for me. Now, I don't often do this, but I was over here, it's a big gap to cross. I was going to give it, you know, a few percent and see what happened. I'm kind of glad that I did at this point. Of course, I don't like, you know, I certainly don't recommend that type of gameplay where you're holding back and not in there as the defender helping out you know eventually i would have got my ass in gear but i was just kind of waiting to see how you know see if mayuta could weather the storm for a few seconds see if it was worth my time and of course he had a, he had a difficult time there uh probably got overwhelmed and just got put down so i'm sure the guys that died were watching me just kind of chilling here in the c sector you can see they start making their move this way however so were a couple of mercs and that storm that was moving through the spy spawn on their way to this sector did to, you know I think they caught probably caught my teammates off guard and uh, and now they just they flood this sector and they're coming in from multiple directions I'm not feeling too confident at this point I do drop the flashbang get catch sir tag uh, you know I come right up on him get right up in his face do a little slicing and dicing but I'm certainly not out of the woods here yet I'm certainly not out of hot water so I've got two guns chasing me there's a third one right up here you know bearing down on me and uh, foolishly I end up on this ladder you know I was really hoping there that I could get up on the edge rather than take the ladder ladders will kill you as a spy especially when you're running from some you know when you're when you're taking shots in the ass along the way and then of course that was the case there so a bit of a botch by me a, 
a poor play, but some seriously overwhelming odds. As uh, I just had way too many guns firing, firing my way and kind of tracking me down, you know. And so anyway, here we go. We're still, well, the team is still over here. We've got a decent presence over here on this uh, C sector. You can see the Mercs do as well. And uh, I was just kind of, you know, came over the edge, was getting ready to drop down. Of course, <laughs> that gets botched. And I see the second man swinging around on me, forces me back up onto the, into a little bit of cover there. And of course, when I finally do come down the stairs, a gun nut was right there, you know, turned around and met me head on, face to face, and stuck me. And he's trying to be a little bit of a smart ass here. With this little I Wyatt that he types in. He was doing that for one round every time he killed me. It was, uh, I don't know, nut. I don't know, sir. Trying to be cute. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to quiet you down here soon enough, aren't I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Anyway, coming back in. Let's take a look at the loadout here. I guess I should run it down. This is the uh, the exact same loadout that, uh, that, that we saw in the last Blacklist video. It's that elite overcharged suit. Of course, it has that SC400S that was recommended, that, that loadout that was recommended by Nitro Drags. And you see me right there. I mean, my God, could it, could it get much worse? Well, I don't think so. I don't think so at this point. A pretty, uh, just a little bit of bad luck there. Again, a bit of a botch. I did know that the mine was in the area. That's why the overcharge suit was being triggered, you know. And uh, unfortunately, I just rounded the corner a little bit too hastily and uh, blew my own... My own ass, uh, sky high. Well, along with uh, with a Merc. I took a Merc with me. So, you know, even exchange. <laughs> you know, all done by my hand. Anyway. So, the full loadout, the full loadout rundown was the Elite Overcharge suit. Uh, sonar goggles, of course, the uh, the takedown gloves, the pocket pants, the running shoes, flashbangs, EMPs. And you've seen it all being put to use right here. It's like, you can come in here, come in the window, put down Sir Tag, follow it up with a nice little kill on Gun Nut. With that overcharged suit, kind of uh, stirring things up as I as I went for his neck, come over the uh, the, in the balcony or come over the railing into uh, straight into uh, Taylor John. You know, my well, my my blade went straight into Taylor John. I came up behind him, <laughs> and then uh, luckily Invictus had already suffered some damage. I don't know if it was from a fall or perhaps he had taken a little a little gunfire from a from a teammate, but. My god, he was hurt and he only had that one bar and he was easy pickings at that point. As I uh, basically wiped the team, the entire team from existence in about uh, 25 seconds or less. But uh, unfortunately, you know, I keep the hack alive with some great gameplay. And that's what I'm talking about, you know, it was a nice little pocket of just great gameplay. Uh, but, uh, but I did get shut down, you know. So I've had a nice little blend here of really effective aggro play and then just some really, you know... I don't know, some botched plays, some bad luck, and <laughs> a little bit of sloppy play. But I am trying to put this SC400S, as I did say. This was uh, recommended by Nitro Drags. I've already done this, 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 well, kind of giving him the shout out for this loadout, but I will run it down one more time. So, it, obviously, this weapon, it has the built in suppressor. Uh, the red dot sights on there, armor piercing rounds, match grade trigger, tuned recoil, buffer, accurized barrel. And, uh, and some great, you know, it gives you some great ratings. It's a pretty effective weapon out there. Again, I will recommend it yet again. As you can see, I'm still using it. And probably will be for a little while with this loadout in particular. I've been enjoying it, you know. Alright. So, uh, we're coming down here. We still have yet to actually bring in a full terminal. Mayuda is, uh, you know, I like playing with this guy. He didn't have a high rank. I don't know if they've been reset. The stats have been reset. But he's, uh, he was playing quite well at times. There were times I was kind of questioning what the hell he was doing. You know, drawing attention to me when he was just moving a little bit too fast through an area while I was trying to stay off radar and stay crouched, you know, for those motion trackers. Anyway, that was a pretty poor decision by me. You know, I, it, it, it looked good in, in the moment. Not so great there in hindsight, you know. I, I figured that the one Merc was going to be tracking me around the corner that he initially, that I was initially running for. So I kind of doubled back on him. I was hoping to get his neck. But uh, there were just a few too many mercs in there, you know, and he had already drifted a little bit too far away from me for me to close that gap effectively without getting put down. Uh, so anyway, back in here, a minute and a half left. I am, I do get detected by something, but it looks like whatever it was um, was uh, was removed from the map before I could actually get it with that EMP grenade. Hi, hi there, gun nut. Hi there, sir. <laughs> Let me get trying to get cute now. <laughs> they kind of just catch him, you know. I don't know. Got a little. He felt like he was napping there a little bit, you know. I think you'd all have to agree. Caught, caught him napping there at the top of those stairs. But, of course, I do some serious scramble against Taylor John and his big gun. His uh, his big, I don't know what he was carrying there, a U100 perhaps. What's the other one? The MG4. One of the two. One of the big LMGs. And he was spraying that sucker. A little bit of lag cost me my life there as I was around on his flank. 
I was bringing in the slice and dice, the chiropractic kill of death, and he put me down with just this kind of laggy stray bullet, you know, when he wasn't even aiming at me. Anyway, a pretty nice uh, takedown there on, uh, on 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 a charging gun nut at really close range. Filled him full of lead. So you can you, you really do see how effective that SC hundred or that SC four hundred S is. You know, you really do see how effective it, a tool it can be. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about with Mayuda. I thought he was a great player for the most part, pretty good player. But uh, this was kind of foolish, and he was really drawing a little bit too much attention to our position. Anybody with motion tracking would have been all over us there. And again, he's still just kind of storming around. All over the place, uh, but the, with the two of us right here, I, I queue up that overcharge shoot. I'm pretty sure he was doing a little spraying and praying as well there against Invictus as he was looking to reposition for the uh, the distant sector, the C sector, where we have this last ditch effort to bring in a full terminal. And I managed to fill him full of lead there, and uh, I cut off, chasing this one Merc down, trying to get to him before he can cause any type of disturbance in here. But Hawk City's all over that action, and uh, he's working to protect the hacker as well. Asking. Asik. Now I step out here on Sir Tag as he's looking up to the skies, to the stars, and checking, obviously checking that little catwalk that, that the spies like to hide on. I shut down the drone and I move straight into it. This is a brilliant little position here. Highly recommend it. Should have a spy here, you know. If you if you've claimed the room for your own, you'll catch a lot of sp or a lot of mercs spawning. And uh, if you can get a couple guys over here, all the better. Put down Invictus, buddy. I would imagine Gunnut, he, he came in like a bull in a china shop there. I think he probably had the adrenaline jacked in. He was coming down those stairs with purpose. Yes, and he pounded me into the ground, sent me packing, and sent me to the next life. But uh, the hack is still running, and that's a good thing. So I've been doing my job in there. He's fine. these dying seconds of this uh, this round. Now, Asik has broken the 70% mark. He's obviously taken it three quarters now. How deep will he go? Well, you'll have to you'll have to stay tuned and find out. Yes, as uh, I put a little fire into somebody as he rounds the corner. Almost felt like gun nut. Not sure though, but uh, that may not make sense there. since he's the one who put me down. I don't think he would have been. Oh no, it was him. It was him. There he is, trying to bust a nut. No sir, not this time. You missed. You missed nut. You missed. <laughs> as I'm on to your wily ways, sir kept my distance and just pumped him full of lead and it with 99% I mean Asik did a great job keeping that hack alive uh, falling at that 99% mark and I manage I'm, I'm in there every the opportunist I'm in there I'll take that hack sir thank you very much <laughs> I'll do my my part my 1% and plenty of defensive work along the way and uh, some big numbers there for myself they're 16 and 9 pretty good death's got a little bit of control as you all saw there were some really like I said some really questionable moments <laughs> with the spy action, but a really, a couple of really great ones, you know, I, like coming to memory is that storm through the B sector where I took it the entire team, and of course the work in the C sector, in those, you know, the final minute, when and with that last hack coming in, some great work there as well, you know, so, a couple of pockets of greatness, and a whole lot of slop, you know, served around it, yes. Anyway, let's take a look at this, uh, this loadout, that I, I have the UAV suit, I don't use the UAV suit too often, they go straight for this A sector, which I find I find kind of ballsy, you know. A lot of spies will duck off towards C or try and circle around and uh, thread the needle uh, into B as the uh, the mercs move through the area to the two the two opposing sectors, you know. But no, they came right in here. Taylor John picking this hack up in in the A sector immediately, and then he came in and they came in in numbers, you know. We've, I think we've basically eradicated most of the spy presence. We're just looking for Taylor John, and there we go. Mayuda falling over here. Now, we did hear both uh, a stun crossbow go off. Now, this was your stun crossbow. It was gun nut. We, I tracked him as he circled around the room. And and this right here was the man that did the slash and dice with a little death from above there. And I thought that was a pretty pretty good play, a pretty good use of the drone, you know. I felt safe there once I took out gun nut. I did have the other two mercs kind of swarm in the area. Is a defensive perimeter, and I felt safe to go to the drone without any real fear of my neck being got, and I uh, was, you know, managed to get into that that shadowed corner there safely and take out Taylor John, who was just hanging around on that pipe. Really nice location, you know, because the naked eye, I wouldn't have picked him up. I really wouldn't have picked him up. I, I could have walked right underneath him and would probably never even, saw, never have even seen him there, you know. So, because I don't use that that far pipe, and I may I may actually try using it from time to time now, because it looked it's a pretty darkened corner, you know. It really is a great little spot to hide. Anyway, gun nut hanging around a little bit too long here, as he takes one between the eyes. A little headshot, sir. A little headshot. Put you down. Send you back and <laughs> send you to the penalty box for for ten. 
All right, and I'm tracking somebody here. And if you if you're noticing, if you look at the load, look at this. I still have yet to actually reload this gun. Uh, it's been like this since uh, well since the A sector. Just can't seem to get the reload in. Finally, we get a fresh clip in. Come on, Hertz. You got to be paying better attention to that. <laughs> you got to have better awareness of your tools. You know that that are in your hand than that. Anyway, Invictus amazingly he missed the phase. Unfortunately for him, good for me though, is I missed the first couple of shots. But I did put down Invictus, and then out of nowhere Taylor John comes dropping in, and then out of nowhere a, a successful gun nut comes in, and and basically has has been you know uh, dismantling the rest of my team. But of course now he's squaring off against old Hertz, eh? And uh, no sir, boom, one one to the noodle, and you're done. Send you packing. Hi there, gun nut. Hi there, gun nut. <laughs> you want to get cute with me, do you? <laughs> you got to remember, I'm, I'm the one playing. You can get the uh, the first laugh, but I'm the one getting the last laugh here when I put the com on at the end. You know, it was it was really funny though because he was he was typing in hi hi there Wyatt or hi Wyatt every time he was the, uh, you know, we we go head to head with a uh, you know a melee bash up against one another, and he'd get the better of me. And there it was. Hi, Wyatt. Just just looking to try and, I don't know, trying to get under my skin a little bit. Trying to get cutesy. Well, <laughs> there you go. Getting cutesy back with you, with you nut. All right. So anyway, let's take a quick look at this loadout. Elite UAV suit. Uh, the ATS Vision. You've been keeping an eye on that bar at the lower, well, well at the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's where the uh, the acoustic targeting vision is going to come into effect for you for, for the most part. Now, some some unsuppressed gunfire coming from an enemy spy uh, is going to pop up as a triangle. You know, you're going to be alerted to it. You're going it's going to come up as a targeting, uh, you know, crosshair, uh, pinpointing that location. But for the most part, in in, in close quarters, you're going to be seeing those bars. You know. Uh, coming up across the bottom of the screen, they're real subtle though. You know, you you really have to be paying attention to be noticing all that all that rock. And you can see it right there flashing up as as Gunnut comes charging in with uh, you know quite enraged. I think at this point, well, no, probably not. Just having a good time. And uh, I was tracking that one. There is somebody up upper shelf in it there. You know, still up there putting some spray down. Really should be carrying a suppressed weapon, and he's not. And it's gonna cost him his life here. But he thinks. As I do mount the structure and, and, and put, and, you know, take Sir Tag down <laughs> off his nest. Now that was beautiful. Invictus making a great track on me. That was one of the slickest death from above's I've, uh, I've been a part of. Unfortunately, I was on the receiving end of it. <laughs> See, basically, he caught me in midair, people, and snapped my neck. And, and then slammed my face, my lifeless corpse, into the ground. Into the earth, yes. And left me there to, there to rot. The nerve of this man. <laughs> anyway, a great, a great death from above, needless to say. But I said it anyway. I said it anyway. Anyway, I go to the drone here and uh, just do a little scour of the main courtyard. And <laughs> coming around the corner, we hear the overcharge suit queuing up. And uh, this is going back, you know, dozens of episodes at this point. But I remember, you know, I remember having the exact same issue. You have to, if you hear the drone coming in, uh, you have to put some distance between yourself. If you're waiting for that overcharge suit to queue up, it's probably going to cost your life if you don't move. You have to. I highly recommend it. You know, you got to put a little distance between yourself and that incoming drone. Because it's not like you're just short-circuiting the drone. With the overcharge suit, you're blowing the drone up. And you're going to kill yourself, you know, maybe six times out of ten. So you got to be careful about that and those approaching drones when you're looking to, to deal with it with the overcharge suit. Now, you can see at this point the UAV suit is almost fully recharged. And I'm aware of that at this point here. So I dropped the mine for a little protection, and I was getting ready to go to it. And there's uh, somebody, just a little bit of great luck there, as Sir Tag, after putting down Hawk City, takes out my mine, scraps it, and uh, comes up all over my ATS, all over my acoustic targeting system. And I do finally manage to get to the drone. I can't close the gap. However, I have managed to pinpoint the hack to Taylor John, who I think was probably, it actually looked like he was in motion there, looking to reposition. He should have dropped down and just tried to run for it. He should have known better. But a great, uh, who was that, that that caught me there? Invictus, just just coming out of the shadows. You know, lots of activity down here in this C sector as they try to bring in this hack, desperately trying to get this intel, trying to keep it alive. But a great little approach there by Invictus. Hawk City returns. You know, returns from the afterlife to, to quell, you know, probably the last of the threat that was in the area with that ACS-12, that boomstick of his, that I don't know if you've all been noticing. I don't know if it's actually happened yet. I think it has. I know Sirtag's been bitching about that shotgun, that ACS-12. You can keep saying, why is Hawk City's, uh, Hawk City's 
to shotgun fire in like an SMG. Well, if you're familiar with the ACS-12, then uh, then you know that it, it fires like a mofo, you know? It fires like a sprinkler head. Anyway, he, that was a great little uh, double kill there. You know, taking down the one man, putting a little few shots into his back. Uh, good awareness. I, again, I don't know if y'all are going to hear it because I do adjust the, the volume uh, of the uh, of the gameplay, but I did kind of hear the footsteps coming behind me. I didn't know for sure that somebody was going to be coming down those stairs, but I thought it likely that if it was a spy up there that I was hearing, it probably he probably was going to round that corner. I had to be aware of it, and I was right on the money, and, and I stuck him good at that doorway. Anyway, two and a half minutes. We're, we're approaching the two-minute warning. Have I done a full suit rundown? No, I don't think I've, I've actually gotten to it, so let's do that now. So the ATS Vision, it's got the enhanced detection attached to it. Armored gloves are in there. Pocket pants. Pocket pants, people. And uh, there we see Sirtag kind of bitching about the shotgun. Which eventually, I think, Hawk City swaps out for a different weapon. I'm not really sure. Or, or something. Maybe something fishy was going on. I'm not really sure. I can't say 100% one way or the other. But no one had the ACS-12. We all know how it fires. You know? Uh, anyway, let me finish up my rundown. The pocket pants, the running shoes, and I'm carrying the proximity mines, the ammo resupply, which you don't see too, too often here, you know, in one of my loadouts, but there it is. Put it to use, I did drop the mines, and I grabbed a couple more for the road. For the road. And, uh, it's the 416. Red dot sight, muzzle brake, match grade ammo, tuned recoil buffer, and accurized barrel, and it's great redeeming quality. Is its range and that well that comes mostly comes mostly from the uh, the match grade ammo that I have on there. <laughs> you saw Gun Nut. He had tased my teammate, and then I stopped at the main door to inspect. And uh, you know what, Gun Nut? You should have let me go, sir. You should have let me go. It cost you, cost you your life. You had to face my wrath in the end. <laughs> and uh, then a great little great little stick there on Taylor John right at the doorway. I followed up with a little defensive perimeter. Put down the explosives, dropping the mine. Hopefully that'll come into play, but I don't actually think it does. And I go straight to the drone as I go on the hunt for this hacker. Where are you, sir? Some EMP grenades are being dropped. My my drone gets scrapped, but in kind of the, the melee bash of it all, the melee, the mix of it all, Hawk City does manage to track down Invicta Supreme and send him back and, and shut this hack down at 58%. Now, with, uh, with only with under with under a minute left, look at this! Look at this gun nut just hanging around. How did he get in there completely unnoticed? And not honestly, what were you thinking, man? There's three of us down here. You know, three of us down here. Now he did obviously have an, a second teammate in the area that eventually got put down. If they had been a little bit more coordinated, if that little run with the EMP grenades and everything had had been coordinated with gun nuts, great little tase and pistol blast at my teammate, well, they may have actually done something, but it just didn't happen. You know, coming in one at a time against three mercs is, uh, no matter how well done it's, it, it, no matter how well executed, it may not, it's probably not going to pan out well, you know. Anyway, but, uh, give him credit, certainly does deserve a little bit of a, a, a commendation for, uh, for just getting in there and hanging around in those shadows. Mere feet away from the, from the group of us, you know, pretty nice work. Anyway, this is their last stand now. We, uh, you know, we there's no fear of us losing this round, but uh, the the draw is still up in the air. And look at this right here. This is another one of these locations I'm rarely, you know, really paying attention to. Uh, he is really blending in nicely with that with that wall, you know. And had I not, had he had the ID blocker pants on, I wouldn't. Have, I probably would have just walked right past him as I dropped down off that uh, off that balcony, off that catwalk, you know. And anyway, there we go with the hacker shut down, with most of the opposition cleared out of the area, with uh, the drone on Overwatch. I was feeling pretty confident that we had shut that down for good, and we did, with 100% to 62%, and a pretty nice, you know, a pretty nice, entertaining round, I thought. Lots of action in there. Uh, the spy side had, had its questionable moments, but it had its great moments that really did make up for it, you know. And, uh, and right across that Merc round, there was a lot going on, and I thought it was worth putting up here. And of course, my one my one percent hack, you know, it, I really shouldn't get the hack for that. You know, it should go to ASIC for carrying it ninety nine percent. You know, it's unbelievable. One percent, I get the hack. I get the hack in my column. Anyway, let's take a look at some names and numbers here. Myself, one hack. Well, one percent of one hack. Five defense. Lots of defensive work on the spy side, though. A couple of times over. Uh, and thirty eight and eleven. Big numbers. You know, twenty two and two on the Merc side. Sixteen and nine on the spy. Big numbers. Right below me, Hawk City with that ACS-12, the big old boomstick of death. Three defense for him. Two, two to one KDR, 22 and 11. Now, Asik below him, 12 and 17, not great. But he did bring in that 99%, you know. <laughs> that was the terminal we needed for the victory. So good for him, you know. Uh, and right below him, Mayuda. 
Always a pleasure to play with him. 1D fan, 11-13. Down in the bottom level, we see the nut. Trying to bust the nut a couple times. Unsuccessfully that round. At least we saw him trying to bust the nut a couple of times. And uh, and they were both fails. The two that we saw, anyway. With Mayuta getting his neck once. And myself filling him full of lead a second. <laughs> and that's what you get for using that... Uh, <laughs> that BS, that goddamn kamikaze tactic that, that you like to go to. That he goes to just by instinct alone at this point. Anyway, right below him, Sir Tag, having a difficult time trying to deal with Hawk City. Now, I would imagine that was probably throwing him off his game a little bit. I don't know if it was all legit. I can't say. I didn't see Hawk City. It didn't, you know, it, maybe he was. Maybe there was something fishy going on. Don't really know. You know, but obviously Sir Tag, was, he was bewildered by what what, uh, what the hell Hawk City was wielding and why it was firing like a, well, like a mofo, like I said. Uh, Sir Tag there, 17-20 with one defense. Invictus Supreme, KDR got out of, out of control, but he was a pretty solid player, you know. Four defense for him. Taylor John, um, perhaps a little wet behind the ears, not really sure, new to the game. There's definitely some competition in here amongst my, my well, with myself, a Hawk City, Gun Nut, Sir Tag, even Mayuta was pretty good. So, he may have just been a little bit outmatched at times, you know. He had that one great hiding spot in the A sector, though, on that pipe. I may put that into effect at some point. Really dark corner. Anyway, people, uh, uh, thanks for stopping by, tuning in, and checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will thumb it. Um, hopefully some classic next week for you guys that enjoy that. But until then, well, you all know it. Remember why it hurts. Later.